Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do the last part of the Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson picture that we've been doing. I'm calling it the bird house because the bird is actually taking his house somewhere. <laughs> so from the last video I did a few little touch-ups. I put in some uh, curtains, I mean colored them. They are done in henna with a little bit of the, um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, I gotta find the pencil down here. Here it is. It's henna and rosy beige. And then just a tiny touch of the black raspberry. And I went and added black, um, touches to bring the black up from here on the, uh, houses. I used the henna and the rosy beige also for the chimneys. Now I left the flags. I'm going to do one flag over here in probably the pink and then this one up here in a purple just to bring it up as three because I didn't have three on both of them. So I'll bring the camera down for that. Then I'm going to be doing stickles um, on the page and I have to find the right one. We're going to do, I think we're going to do diamond on here. So I have to find the diamond one. And that is kind of the um, sparkly with the gold tones to it. And that will be on the gems, um, on all these little teeny tiny little pieces here and in here possibly on those little guys, you know, just for your accents and on his little feathers that have the circles on them. We will be putting some in that, some probably in here also. And these little um, dots down here. But I'm going to ink a background first. So he is in the sky, I would assume. He's flying his way someplace. So I'm just going to kind of do a... Um, a blue up here and then bring it down to a purple, I think. Or a pink. I don't know. We don't have that much pink in here, so we'll grab the two blue, the blue and the pink, and put the blue up here and the pink down here. I think that'll work nicely. So broken china and Victorian velvet in the distress ink. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. Uh, for the fact that I have a pad for that one. I can't put uh, ink on top of stickles. <laughs> it doesn't work terribly well. So we're just going to ink up the um, the Tim Holtz Distress Tool. I'm trying to think. I don't want to get pink in the um, bird here. So in order to not do that. I'm going to get out a piece of paper. How much paper I have? How about vellum? Hmm, I'll try that. You can see through vellum. If I can get it out of the thing. We'll draw a quick. Doesn't matter how you do this, but I don't want to get pink on him, so I'm just going to draw kind of a rough boom sketch of the bird and then we're going to cut that out if I can find some scissors <laughs> so we want this part and like I said it's a rough it's okay if it gets some pink in that that was just noisy as I'll get out isn't it Okay, and something up here. Um, so we're going to lay that down on the bird so I don't get ink on him. That's close enough. So we're going to get the ink. We're going to put it on the vellum and bring the pink down onto the paper. Very light touch here so we don't get too many 
unwanted lines on it and just go around and add in the pink. And it's okay if it gets some um, in his tail feathers, so that I'm not too concerned about. Try to keep it away from his face, but it's okay if it goes in the crown. And then we'll add it some up here. And on the side. Okay. Now we're going to add in the blue up at the top. And I'm pretty sure it's okay with the uh, castle areas as long as I'm going in the dark areas. We got some on there. That's okay. Got a little too much ink on this, but. I'm just going to do the flagged color. Let's put another color on it. Kind of mix those a little bit. There's a bright blue. Okay. Then we are going to do some water on that. So my little trusty find a clean washer egg out here. There we go. Little spritzer bottle. And we're just going to spritz it and wipe it up. I don't know why it's coming out in big blobs. It shouldn't be doing that. wherever you want it. <laughs> and I'm not crazy about these stripes up here, so I'm just going to add a little more water and get a more generic blob going. Okay. Just a little bit more down here. I like that. Now the page is a little damp, but it's okay. What we're doing is going to put on stickles, so put them in the gem areas first. He's got some little dots on these uh, down here, so I'm going to put them on that. And anywhere I see dots or I, I think it might look cool with some on here, I'm just going to add some in. Okay, his wings.
his tail feathers down here. We're going to put them on the existing dots that I colored over. And I'm going to do the same thing on his um, wings up here. So each one of these feathers has got three dots. And then we go up to four, five. A whole heck of a lot here. <laughs> and then the little one behind it. Okay, if you're wondering what stickles is, it's just a glitter glue. It does tend to lie a little flatter than um, most of the other glitter glues out there. Comes in a range of um, colors. You can get them with actual colors in them, or you can get the clear with the different shades of bright glitter in them. This is diamond, and we have um, I have crystal, which is more green. Kind of a snowflake one that's more white. If you put this on um, black, it shows up as a different color, which is always fun. I'm put it here, going up his chest too. We go now on the houses. I think we'll put it over here. And we'll put it up here. Put it over here. I don't know about down there. I want it glittery, but I don't want it, you know, overkill. <laughs> I'm going to put some on the key. Can you see down here? We have all these dots, too, that I'm going to put it in. But I want to cover them in white first. So I'm just going to add some sparkle here. Kind of using it as a pen to draw on some sparkles. Just kind of make it a little sparkly. We'll add some here onto the key ring too. Okay. Yep. I have a um, Uniball Signo white. Uh, gel pen and I'm just going to color in these dots okay so here we are we've got the little splots or splatters on the page I did get a few on the bird but that's okay so that's down on below and I don't know if you can see the uh, stickles on there I'm hoping you can all over the houses and his crown it's gonna be gorgeous when it dries the key <laughs> and then of course all the little ones down below so that is the finished picture I want to thank you guys for watching the little series of <laughs> how to color this one and this one more done in this page like I said the splattering gets all over everywhere but I like the effect so I like doing it if you don't like 
those splatters like this one, you can just scrape it out. So that one was a little bit big. And then if it doesn't come all the way out, you can use um, the blue pen if you figure out where your blue pencil went without too much problem. You can just color over that. Just like that. Boom! Now we don't have that mark. <laughs> I have another one over here that I can color over also. Just like that. So there we are. Thanks guys for watching and if you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notifi notified on my next video, ring the little bell. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys. Thanks for watching. Bye now.